It's time to get into some things you want to avoid doing if you want to be more successful with the ladies. Because a lot of times in life, it's just as important to know what not to do as it is to know what to do. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 things I believe men should not do with women. So stay tuned if you want to avoid making some major mistakes when it comes to the opposite sex. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Kevin Towns, salute. First up on the list of 10 things men should not do with women is at the top of the list for a reason. You should never put pursuing women before the pursuit of your purpose. You see, when you're purpose driven, it brings success, fulfillment, and growth. Things men should always be aspiring to. And when you're deeply engaged in pursuing your passion, you're going to create confidence, independence, and self-assurance. Things that women are going to find attractive anyway. When you prioritize your purpose above women and all else, it shows that you prioritize your self-respect and you have a commitment to your personal development and your overall success. The number one thing a man should do. And a byproduct of this will be healthier, more fulfilling relationships. When you prioritize the pursuit of purpose over the pursuit of women, it gives you a more well-rounded, balanced life. Because having a woman in your life should complement you, not identify you. Remember, it's real hard to get friend zone from the end zone. Now you may have noticed in that last tip, I used the word pursue when I talked about tracking the opposite sex. I did that for a reason. What you don't want to make the mistake of, chasing instead of pursuing women. Yes, there's a difference between chasing and pursuing. When you pursue women, you identify someone you're interested in and you go for that person. But the key about pursuing, you let her know your romantic interest and you make sure it's reciprocated. Now, when you're chasing a woman, you're going after someone you're not even sure wants to be with you or is interested in you in the first place. Think about the word chase. Something that's being chased doesn't want to be caught, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't put effort into pursuing a woman you're interested in, but only one that you've identified has the qualities that you're looking for and you've expressed romantic interest in her clearly and directly. And if she reciprocates this energy, pursue on. But if she doesn't, take it on the chin and move on. Because a man who's going to be successful in dating does not chase women. He pursues them. Now, the next thing I want to caution you against doing when it comes to the ladies is directly related to our last one not chasing them. My guys who chase often pedestalize women. This is a huge mistake, especially when you're first getting to know somebody. Just because she's attractive doesn't mean she's above or below you. You don't even really know this woman yet. So why are you approaching her from an inferior position? When you first meet a woman, especially one that's very attractive, it's easy to overlook her flaws and imperfections. I don't care how much you like her or how beautiful she is, she's not perfect. And whether you know it or not, putting a woman on a pedestal can actually cause her stress and anxiety. If you're putting energy out there that she's perfect, she may feel pressure to live up to that. That does nothing for you or her. Remember, when you're getting to know somebody, you're not above or below them, and they're definitely not above you. You want to try to make an authentic connection with the real person. One that you realize that, yes, is attractive, but has flaws. Do not make the mistake of pedestalizing women. Now, another mistake I see a lot of my guys making out there, especially ones that might fall into the simp category, you have to make sure you don't apologize for not always agreeing with the woman. This is a huge problem I see over and over. No matter what she says, you think you're automatically supposed to say she's right. You want to make sure you have the freedom to express with respect your differing perspective. It's not a good idea to feel like you have to apologize just because you see something differently. She isn't always right. As long as you're disagreeing from a respectful manner, you both can learn from each other's different perspectives. And I don't want to be around anyone who doesn't want to learn from each other. She knows she's not always right, and if you let her be, she's not going to respect you. There's no need to apologize for seeing things differently. A woman isn't always right just because she's a woman. You want to make sure you're engaging in a relationship that has authenticity and depth. But I also must caution you about this next mistake that's closely related, but from the opposite end of the spectrum. Make sure you're not talking about things you have no idea about. This is a huge mistake I often see guys making. They feel like they have to say something about every topic. It's okay to remain quiet sometimes. As one of my favorite cliches go, a wise man knows he knows nothing. Why open your mouth and damage your credibility by pretending like you have a working knowledge about a subject you really don't? You make yourself look like a fool. What I recommend you do instead, if you don't know much about a topic, listen, learn, ask questions. You want to have a relationship based on honesty and transparency. 
If you're willing to learn and say you don't know something, this humility actually will be attractive to a woman and it can help establish a genuine connection. And this is also a good way to get to know that woman. You learn some of her interests and her experiences. That's an excellent idea that you talk about the things you actually have a working knowledge of. Now, the next thing I suggest you don't do with women is closely related to that last guy who talks about things he doesn't know about. You'll often see this guy bragging. Now, if you want to be on the easy street to turning a woman off, brag about yourself. It comes across as arrogant, insecure, and insincere. When you brag, you're just trying to bring an outsized amount of attention to yourself instead of trying to make a genuine connection with the other person. And here's the thing, if you're smart, you're successful, you have a lot going on, she'll figure that out as she gets to know you. You don't have to go out of your way to draw attention to it. Be cool, lay back, she'll see how great a guy you are without you having to tell her. When you do a lot of bragging, it seems like you're looking for validation or approval. And instead of highlighting your good qualities like you think you are, it does the opposite. Chill on the bragging, playboy. Now, another huge mistake I see my guys doing out there, especially the ones that might not have a lot of success with women, they think all the guys who get women have money. So they make the mistake of leading with your wallet. Not a good idea. When you lead with your wallet, you're going to get a relationship based on material things, your material worth and what the woman can get out of you instead of an authentic connection. Here's the thing. If you lead with your wallet, there's a lot of women that will take advantage of it, but they won't respect you. You're going to wind up with a woman that's looking for material gain because you're putting that energy out there. Instead, when you're getting to know a woman, lean on shared interests, values, and goals. You want to get into a relationship based on mutual respect, not financial status. Lead with your personality and your character not your wallet. Now here's where we get into a little subtlety and nuance when it comes to dating. Just because you're not supposed to lead with your wallet doesn't mean you forget chivalry. I don't care how modern times have gotten, chivalry isn't and is never dead, especially with a woman who's genuinely interested in you. She wants you to be a gentleman. Don't confuse being a gentleman with being a simp. A gentleman is considerate, kind, and it fosters positive interactions in the relationship. You see, being a gentleman actually is you being a leader and something that women are wired to find attractive. You come off as a protector. Acts of chivalry like opening the door, offering assistance, and showing courtesy demonstrates thoughtfulness in class. Nine times out of ten, if a woman doesn't want you to be gentlemanly towards her, she's probably not interested to begin with. A woman is wired to find attractive in a man she's attracted to acts of chivalry. Now next up is something I recommend you don't do with women that is a problem for a lot of my nice guys out there. Don't be overly available. When you're overly available to a woman, it comes off as a lack of independence, not having a life of your own. It's just going to come off as insecure and needy, and that's going to damage the level of respect and attraction. Constantly being available may create a sense of low value or even desperation. If you don't respect your time, she won't either and she won't respect you as a result. If you're always available, where's the excitement? Where's the intrigue? Where's the mystery? Yes, you should show interest in a woman, but you also need to maintain your personal boundaries and your priorities. If you want to not be taken seriously, but be taken advantage of, be overly available. When you take time to be on your purpose and do the things you need to do, it's a sign of self-respect. When you maintain a little bit of intrigue and mystery and it enhances the attraction and it helps maintain a healthy dynamic in the relationship. Now, next up on our list is a huge no-no I want you to avoid at all costs. Do not pretend to be someone you're not to impress a woman. When you think you have to be someone other than yourself to attract a lady, it's a huge problem. You wreck all authenticity and trust. Because here's the problem, it comes off as a facade because it's not sustainable being somebody you're not. And here's the thing, when she finds out you're not the guy you pretended to be, she's going to feel deceived and betrayed. Instead, focus on being the real you. This will help you develop an authentic connection, one you can keep up. You want to grow a connection based on honesty and transparency. Be the real you. If that's not attractive to her, oh well, move on. When you prioritize being yourself, you establish a relationship based on genuine connection, one based on mutual respect, acceptance, and appreciation. Do not try to be the guy you think women want. Find women who want guys like you. Okay, so there you have it. My list of 10 things I highly recommend you don't do with women. Now do me a favor, let me know in the comment section if you have some great advice for the guys out there that they shouldn't do if they want to be more successful with the ladies. And if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, I highly recommend you check out a recent video I did about the 10 nice guy mistakes a lot of men make. You can check it out right here.